Hi everyone, it's nice to see you again. Today we're going to be going through the first of a couple of videos all about Microsoft Teams. So in this video today, we're going to be covering creating assignments, how your students will turn them in, and then how you grade them all through Microsoft Teams. So let's get started. To create an assignment in Teams, you first need to make sure that you're logged in under a Microsoft EDU account and that the class that you've created is a class team. If you have done both of those things, you should be able to see the Minutes tab over here on that side ribbon of Teams and then up here at the top. If you need any help with this, you can refer to my complete tutorial guide of Teams that's linked below. Okay. Let's get started in creating our first assignment. Over here on the general channel, you can see that the assignments is up here at the top. If you click your other channels, the assignments won't be there. So it's under general to make sure all of your students will get the assignment. So we can click assignments and you see that I don't have any created yet. So we can just go ahead and click create. You have three different options here. You can make an assignment, you can make a quiz through Microsoft Forms, and then lastly, you can create one from an already existing assignment. Today, we're just going to create a plain old assignment. And at the top, we can type in the title. So I'm gonna do a geography presentation. And it's a two-part assignment for my students. So this is part one of creating a a PowerPoint on the country that they were assigned. Part two will be them presenting, but first I'm going to go through and check their presentation before they present it to the class. Now we can add some resources. So here you can add one from OneDrive, your class notebook, or you can add in a link or create a new file. So lots of different options here. I have a example PowerPoint slide for my students that I'm going to upload from my device. So that is another option as well. So once it's uploaded, you can just click done and it will attach it to the assignment for all the students to see. But here you can see that students are not able to edit this. So sometimes this is good if this is an instruction sheet or a different examples for students to see. But I actually want my students to use this file to turn in their assignment on this. So I'm going to go here and say that students can edit their own copy. So whenever a student clicks on this, it will create a brand new copy for them and they can just turn that one in. Now, if we scroll down, I can add points to this assignment or add a rubric. So if you have a rubric already existing, you can use that one or you can upload one or create a new one. So we're going to create a new one today with the title of geography presentation. And then you can also add a description if you wish. Here you see that uh, you have excellent, good, fair, and poor. And so these can be customized and changed so that you can streamline it with however your school grades your students. You can also add the plus button if you need any more options. So let's add in some grading criteria for them. So the first one, we do minimum of five slides. Then we can do has an interactive question. And then last one, for example's sake, we'll say has text and photos. Okay, perfect. Up back at the top, you can see that you can assign points to this rubric. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you'll see that it automatically evenly distributes the weight of each section. So you can change this as well if you need. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. So we're gonna attach this rubric so now students will be able to click on this and see what they're being graded on. Next, we need to assign this assignment to our students. So I am going to assign them to all of them, but you can pick and choose if this is an individualized assignment and you only want to assign it to one. Let's add a due date. So let's say Monday morning at 8 a.m. So with Teams, there is a due date and a close date. 
So the due date is when your assignment is due, but students are still able to turn in late work. If you don't want to allow this or only want to give them a couple of days to turn in late work, that's when you turn on a close date. So this closes the assignment. You don't accept any more submissions. So to do this, we just go to the edit button and we have to check the close date. So I'm going to say maybe Friday. And th so they have a couple of days to turn it in late if they need. So you can uh, schedule assignments in the future if you're pre-planning, but obviously don't want students to see all of them right away. Okay, so we can click done. And then if you have to fix anything else, you can click save or we can just click assign and your assignment is created. Okay, so now let's check out the student side and see how they will turn in an assignment. So I have the student side opened up here and we can see that on my general channel, it has been posted that my teacher has assigned a new assignment. So I can view it from here, I can view it from the assignments pivot at the top, or with the assignment tab on the side toolbar. So I'll just click on view assignment from the posting and I can see all of the information that my teacher added. The rubric, so we can check that out and see what I need to be graded on. I can see when it's due and the instructions. And then my PowerPoint is here. So I'm going to open this up through the application on my desktop. Okay, so my teacher has had a couple of slides pre-filled out for me. I can edit this and change this however I need. So I'm just going to add a slide to make my interactive quiz question. So I'm going to do this through InkNo class point up here at the top. And my question is going to be, what do you know about France? This way I can see what my classmates know about this country too, before I begin. So once I have that typed out, I'll just add a word cloud button to the slide so that when I present, we can have a little bit of fun with this question. I'm going to add in just a quick image for this slide. As I know my teacher said, have text and photos. So I'm just going to type in France and we can just add a photo of their flag. So once I'm done working on my presentation, I can just save it. And then in Teams, you can see under my work, there is a PowerPoint added. So this PowerPoint is in fact the one that I have edited. To turn in my assignment, I have to make sure that I click turn in. Otherwise, it just sits here and my teacher doesn't get notified. So once everything's complete, just click turn in. And then you will see a fun little animation every time you turn in an assignment to keep it a little bit more exciting. So the great thing about Teams is that you've created your assignment, your students have turned them in, and now you can grade it, and all of that information is all in one place. And you can export all of the grades later once the semester is complete. So back on the teacher side, we can see um, that when you click on assignments, you can see the drafts, what's been assigned, and what's been graded. So I haven't graded anything yet, but we're about to change that. So the one that I've assigned, the geography presentation, you can see one student out of four has turned it in. So if we click on this, we can see which student has turned it in and how many haven't. And so once the assignments are turned in, you'll be able to see the feedback you've given them and how many points they've got. So I can click on the student who's turned it in and see their work and then give them a quick grade. So I can see, okay, they have six slides, but four of them are empty, but they do have an interactive quiz and one photo. So if I open up the rubric, I can see the first criteria that I had, the minimum of flat five slides. Let's see, they had enough, so I'll just give it an excellent, has an interactive quiz, excellent, but text and photos, let's give that a fair. So now I can click done and it has given them the points. I can also add in some feedback. I can say, you know, looks good, but not complete. And you see the total points that they have. So once 
your grading is complete, you can return it to your students by just hitting return. And then they get to see their grade and they can fix what needs to be fixed and turn it in again. Up here at the top, you can see with these arrows, you can toggle in between students, but none of my other students have completed any work yet, so I'm not going to grade anybody else. You can also easily go between your students with the drop down menu up here. And if I close this, you can see now it's just two grade is three. And I can switch over to graded and see I've graded this one and returned it. I can click the plus to see my feedback and their points. And then later, I can also export this to Excel if I need. So that way, if you have a spreadsheet of all the other data, you can add this to it. So the last thing that I want to show you guys is up next to assignments, there's also a grades pivot. So if you click on this, it will give you a list of all of your students in your class, along with all of the assignments that you've given throughout the semester. So this way you can see, you know, every assignment and the grade that each student has gotten. And you can easily click on a student and that assignment to see their work. You can also export all of this data to Excel, so then that way you have a complete history of each assignment and every student's grades. Okay, great. You guys, that was a short overview of all things assignments on Microsoft Teams. If you have any other questions, you can let us know in the comments below, or feel free to watch my full tutorial video of Microsoft Teams that is linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss when another one of our tech tips comes out for your classroom. Thank you guys again. Enjoy your day.